So we are here at Teardown in Portland, Oregon. This is the Crowd Supply Fest, and it has been incredible already. We've only just started the very first day, and there is an amazing amount of wonderful things on display, including Mini KVM. Now, this is a project that I'd already noted on Crowd Supply to talk about on the Electromega Show, but I am actually very lucky to be joined by Billy, who is the person behind Mini KVM. So, we know what a KVM is, but what is the difference here with the Mini KVM, and what was the reasoning behind making it? Okay, so my idea here is uh, to turn my own laptop as a KVM console to control over uh, another computer. And uh, my approach here is uh, a bit like a portable and solution, which is allow people to do quick uh, troubleshooting for any computer just nearby. And you just plug and play. So uh, the reason why I built this uh, tool at, at the first play was because uh, my studio did a lot of uh, our uh, tech art project, which is involved, have to manage a lot of a headless device, and uh, quite often in a very top environment, for example, like outdoor, and quite often we need to like, for example, like uh, do some coding for robot dog, uh, and then we, we don't want to bring monitor and keyboard, so, but for sure that we have our own laptop, so we just need to use our own laptop and then can uh, do all kind of. Uh, modifies uh, on, on the code and or do the setting. So this is uh, our basic idea. Absolutely, and, um, and and the concept of a KVM, as I mentioned at the start, is isn't particularly new. But one of the things about this that's really interesting is its form factor. But as well as that, um, being able to get into a headless device is, is a very useful thing. But there's a couple of extra features you showed me on this that are, uh, are worth noting as well. In that, um, if you are using, say, a headless computer like the Windows computer we have down here. Um, because of the nature of HDMI, you can get sound through that HDMI. Yeah. But the other thing you showed me that I thought was quite interesting is that the keyboard and mouse uh, USB input can be switched with another one so that you can actually get access to a spare USB port, right? Yes, yes. So you can plug in uh, any USB you know, device over there and then you can switch to uh, the, the use between the host and target uh, computer. For example, I, I can transfer a file to a, to a stick and then the toggle it to the other side and then uh, the target computer also can then use the file mm -hmm. yeah so uh, another uh, interesting thing we want to do is that we we're going to match those local KVM feature as a VNC yeah. and then people also can access it somewhere else yeah, yeah. but have to through our uh, software mm. and uh, because our device is completely open source mm. so uh, people also can do you know all kind of modify for uh, our hardware and also software as well yeah. absolutely and, uh, and one of the things you did mention as well is that what we have here is a, is a, a computer running Mac OS talking to a Windows computer um, and there is a, a native Mac OS app I think you mentioned already yeah, yeah. Um, but this is something that is cross-platform you can use this to target any computer from any other operating system is that correct yes yeah, yeah. that's correct that's correct absolutely, and yeah. for uh, for the host uh, app uh, we support Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. Mm -hmm. And for the target device, as well as the target device, I have uh, HDMI uh, output. Yeah. Not only HDMI, actually with, with the adapter, like for example v VGA or yeah, yeah, other, yeah. Mm -hmm. any kind of part. I just need to transfer to uh, HDMI, mm -hmm. and then our device can support that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely, and I, I imagine many people watching will uh, immediately realize that anything that you can plug HDMI into is highly hackable, can be used for various things. Uh, so Mini KVM is currently up on Crowd Supply right now. This is something that people can uh, find if they want to, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. we, we just ended our campaign mm -hmm. two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I think we did a quite good job. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can see that a lot of people love our solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, right now we're doing our full power on uh, production right yeah. now. And we are ending to deliver our product in the end of September. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And if any of you out there are interested in finding out more about Mini KVM, you'll find links to this project in the video description that you're watching this on, also in the associated blog post where you can find a few more links to the project. Billy, thank you so much for your time today. Right. Right. Thank you. Thank you.